Now you're very open about um, depression. Yeah. You know, I've seen you speak on that a lot. You know, what triggers that? Because you know, we we go on your Instagram and your in your music videos. We see cars, we see money. Um, you know, we see a lavish lifestyle, but you speak on depression. You know, what triggers that? I mean, I think it's all the shit you gotta go through to get it. I feel like along with how you said the uh, rap game is watered down, a lot of these dudes can create an image of whatever they want to. And then when you have that image, the emotions don't match if you don't, haven't really been through it. So me, I was just trying to balance it out. You know, I came into rap with everything I want. I didn't have to rap for money or anything, but I, at a, at a point of, when I feel like God gave me a second chance of what I went through, I felt like I owed it to a lot of the people who don't, even if it's 10%, you know, 20%. I went, I didn't plan to speak to everybody. It was for the percentage of people who really wanted to know the ins and outs of these streets and actually get out the streets, you know? I feel like I'm comfortable enough without ratting, without doing some sucker shit to be like, Hey, it is cool to lead the streets, you know, and you you only gonna die or go to jail, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. a lot of people ain't promoting ain't, ain't promoting that message, you know. Yeah, that's what I was. That's that's my next question. You know, us as black men, we don't talk about mental health. You know, yeah. a lot of niggas is are ashamed of it. Um, they're real insecure with it. You know, they feel like. It makes us weak. Yeah, yeah. Not. Nah, I mean, I feel like it make you stronger. If you can, if if you can say, "Hey, bro, I lost my partner at, at sixteen. We didn't get to finish high school. I seen his brains blown out. That shit fucked me up. Chief Keith wasn't out. It we didn't. It wasn't. We didn't know about slide on the op and drop a op. It wasn't no songs about you know dead homies and all that. That shit was fresh to us at that time period. You know what I'm saying? So. I took a different approach to it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the streets is real. You know, we was just kids at that point, so it wasn't yeah. really cool to die. But now, it's cool to die, you know what I'm saying? Right. And get shot and go shoot people, you feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't really about even getting no money no more now. It's like, you gotta be a shooter. Mm. Does rap make you depressed? Not rap itself, but the rap game, the music industry, because it's dark now. Like you said, it's all about killing and sliding on the ops and smoking on the pack where rap is going now does that kind of make you a little discouraged a little bit uh no nah, it, it kind of like encouraged me more to balance it out you know what i'm saying and like i said i i'm, I'm not I don't, I don't care about no stats or no clout or nothing like i said if it, if, if i'm speaking to my 20 percent of people who feel what i feel then i'm doing my job you know what i'm saying i just I feel like it's my duty not to just leave them with that. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, listen to that, but then listen to this too. Right. And and I'm asking you this because of who you are. Do you do you think money equals does money equal happiness? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. And, and and people might confuse it with all of the shit I got, but like I said, I I I had to acquire these things by, you know, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, you know, and after you lose so much, you go through so much, you know, uh, you don't really, you don't really value it the same, you know what I'm saying? I, I give all this shit back to get my pops back, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or this position or whatever, you know, people think that is, you know, it's everything because I know I can get it again. People who ain't never had it, they feel like, you know, it's everything. You know, I done lost this shit a couple of times and got it back. It's not yeah. my first set of jewelry. It's not my first cars. I, I take L's, you know, but from Instagram, I don't really like to talk about that because right. that ain't what people do, you know? We got to let people yeah. know. People only show the highlights of their life on Instagram, y'all. Real not shit. Showing, I'm not even showing my L. You get what I'm saying? Because it, it, what's the point? So people need to know that, you know, it's L's behind everything and behind this Instagram flexing, man. Yeah. You know, I asked you that because, you know, you spoke on 
depression, battling depression. But on the flip side of that, there are millions of people that wish they were in your position. The Lamborghinis, the new house, um, the best weed and, you know, living in the Bay Area, getting to do whatever you want to do 24-7, not having a nine to five. So that's why I ask you that, because a lot of people, they look at you and they think, you know, you're like a superhero to them. Like yeah. nothing can bother you. Like I mean, like I, Jordan. Well, well, the backstory behind that is, like I said, uh, you know, they, they see the house on Instagram, but they don't they don't know how many times I got kicked out of houses. You feel what I'm saying? And the pain of me being kicked out of houses, you know, living the street life, you know. You might got, you can't have a house in your name because if you ain't rapping, you ain't got no credit. The girl get mad, you know, your shit on the steps. Your mama get mad, you selling drugs as a kid, you got to get kicked out. You paying rent, the landlord, you know, so all of these traumas make me, made me, it wasn't that I was wanted to get a high buy house to flex on Instagram. And I just want a place to stay where nobody can't kick me out. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It yeah. wasn't really ain't about flossing, you know. And uh, of course, I'm a I'm a young black man. It's hard to get in neighborhoods in the Bay Area, as y'all see. This is a, a a big city, so it's a lot of discrimination going on. The chances of you getting into a neighborhood that's already built is slimmer than building from scratch. Mm -hmm. So then that's how that come into play. That wasn't a flex either. That was kind of like my only way into ownership. You get what I was saying? Right. Yeah. It, it wasn't a flex. And then, and then with the cars, you know, I just like cars. You know, I, I can't keep on going backwards. So every time, I don't, I don't have twenty cars. You know, I might have five sometimes. Might see a nice car, sell two, go get another one. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a hustler. You feel what I'm saying? And and, and I want to, I want to explain that to the youth who see me with the money and shit, man, you got to have financial literacy. You get what I'm saying? When I think about buying something, nine times out of ten, I think about selling something because I like to purchase with assets instead of my liquid cash because my liquid right. cash is always going to be there. If I have a car I ain't drove it in two or three years and I want a new car, like you see the new Lambo, then shit, that car might be half of a car. Now I only got to pull out a little bit out of the stash. You get what mm. I'm saying? I ain't trying to super flex and say, well, yeah, I got every car I had since I was 20. Uh, that's not realistic. And it's kind of stupid if it don't balance out your jewelry, your garage, and your equity in your home. You know, right. realistically, if you worth a million dollars, you should have, realistically, some rappers ain't worth a million dollars, but shit, you should have at least a quarter million equity in your house if you got a quarter million dollars worth of jewelry and a quarter million dollars worth of car and then you should have a quarter million dollars say you know you got to balance it out that's financial literacy instead of you know fuck it i'm gonna just go buy the lamb and a jury and wait till i get my next million nah you know you might not make it right there. you get what i'm saying that's so, real yeah i've been slowly grinding my way up man